It's day seven and we're hiking out of Mount Laguna. After an amazing zero that was much needed and much appreciated. And now we're going to do at least 11 miles so we can get to a camp zone because we're not allowed to camp between here and 11 miles. And we might push for 13 because that's the first camp place on the map. But we're going to try for the 11 first. <laughs> and see, yeah, see how we feel. <laughs> no time like the present to push ourselves. We've got our first obstacle of the day. Whoa! Ice. <laughs> Walking slowly through the ice fields. Oh, it was a wee bit cold last night. Nothing we can't handle though. <laughs> After taking a moment to look at the mountain we had just climbed a couple of days ago, this time with clear blue skies, we met up with a geologist who's also hiking the PCT. He took a minute to explain to us the mountains and the valleys and everything that was going on around us, geologically speaking, of course. Historically, this part of the Pacific Crest Trail doesn't have very much water. However, this year, it's everywhere, including running right down the middle of the trail. On top of a mountain. Uh, where did you say we were, Sharon? This is the Anza Borrego um, Desert State Park. What she said. Yeah. Snack time view.
We made it to <laughs> We made it to 50. Let's see your Let's see your happy dance. Hey y'all. It's the evening of day 7. And it's been a fantastic day. We left Lake Morena this morning and we have to do 11 miles to get out of this no camping zone. And the first camp spot is at mile 13. We're approaching 11 miles and we're very tired, but we've also had such an amazing day. Oh my God, the views, walking this ridge line for the last 11 miles, overlooking the most incredible valley and just such a blessing, just a, such a blessing today, this hike so far. Uh, just in case I'm too tired when I get to camp. Uh, let's see, my success today was walking 11 to 13 miles. I don't know how far I'll go today because it's not over yet, but I know I have to do at least 11. That's the longest miles that we've done yet. And I'm very happy about that. Um, my challenge today, I don't really feel like I've been challenged other than I'm just really tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> uh, and of course my blessings today are so many, it's hard to count, but the one that's really uh, strong in my mind right now is this woman who um, is a through hiker and she's a physical therapist, uh, PT something or other. She has a lot of letters behind her name. Uh, and she drives up and down the trail helping hikers who are injured. And one of my trail family is injured. So we were able to call her on the top of this mountain and do a telehealth uh, appointment. And it's just incredible to me that not only does this woman do this for the hikers <laughs> so that we can <laughs> finish this goal that we have that's so big, right? <laughs> and nobody wants to fall out at mile 50. But she does it for practically nothing. And it's just, <sighs> just feels so blessed. Feels so blessed. Uh, the other thing that's exciting is that we hit the 50 mile marker and that's a huge milestone for all of us. Uh, and it, it just feels really good to get to that point. So I feel really good ending today with a smile on my face and a proud heart. And thank you so much for joining me, for continuing to show up and for continuing to come along with me on this <laughs> once in a lifetime journey. Thank you. We made it the 11 miles, y'all. Yes, we did. We made it. Do you guys feel proud? Yes. Thank you for being so encouraging. You're welcome. I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's good to lose your mind every now and then. A little bit. Thank you all so much for joining me on another incredible adventure.